Dien Dogre comrades, and uh, welcome back to my let's play of Europa Universalis 4. And uh, we are still in the same situation we were last time. Um, I incorporated uh, Lithuania, I'm in, in a personal union with it, so I'm the senior partner. Uh, and I uh, gained the Teutonic Order as a vassal. Now, what I didn't realize, and uh, I, I only saw it once I edited my um, my video for YouTube, um, is that the Teutonic Order is still at war. And uh, it is at war with Brandenburg, Saxony and Thuringia. So uh, Brandenburg, Saxony and I think Thuringia is this thing here. No, that's Anhalt. Only this. So... Um, since this war started before it, uh, the Teutonic Order became my vessel, um, I am not part of the war and I cannot join it. Um, I can't ask them to like, uh, bring me in. Um, there's only one way to um, get into the war and that is by telling Brandenburg to um, and force the peace with the Teutonic Order, but I can only send this if I have an if the Teutonic Order has a opinion of myself of at least one hundred. It's now at twenty four, so I will need to act here, because if not, uh, the Teutonic Order will lose this province to Brandenburg, um, which would make Brandenburg a minor power in the in the uh, Holy Roman Empire, and I don't want that to happen actually. So I will need to um, relation improve my relations with the Teutonic Order. I sent my second uh, my second um, diplomat there, improving th uh, three points per month. So yeah, okay, that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is in regards to. Uh, where I want to go this because right now we have like a a very strong power block um, my plan is this um, I will save my administrative power now so I can um, go to administ administrative tech 4 so I get my national ideas and I will um, save my power even more to go to 5 because at 5 I can build the temple and the constable to increase my tax income. I also decided uh, which first um, which first uh, um, which first idea group I will take um, and I will come to that once it's time to choose it. So uh, another thing I noticed it is that uh, my bishop uh, or my, my, my missionary who wants to convert in in Ruthenia uh, cannot convert Ruthenia at the speed will never be fully converted because my missionary has not enough power which sucks as you can see here uh, base value plus from so a 2.6 and the negative is 3 so I, I lack 0.4 percent power um, I can resolve that because I could hire a missionary strength uh, inquisitor here, but he's a skill two guy and costs me 4.2 a month, and I only earn 4.4 a month, so that would make me very vulnerable. But I will do it regardless. I'm pretty sure I will kick him out afterwards after I'm finished with uh, converting Ruthenia. Um, so yeah, um, not the best situation. Um, Army maintenance is extremely low. I will lower it even further. So I earn at least 0.5. Um, yeah, so let's kick off time, I think. Everything else is in perfect order. Yeah, um, good. So um, now it, it, the, the point is I already uh, played the save further along in a in a second save basically so I know what to do here I will need to improve my relations fast 
So even if Brandenburg takes this province, ooh, loud. Only if even if Brandenburg takes this this province, it will uh, take a while until he accumulates the ticking war score to actually take it over. Um, and uh, I think I can get the opinion to 100 faster, so I am able to join the war and uh, kill it with fire. So here Brandenburg wants military access. Uh, access uh, not happening, bro. Not happening. So. Also, I I think I found the reason for the for the uh, frame lag. It's because my PC sucks. <laughs> I really, really, really need a new one. Um, so missionary will be finished in some day, sometimes in six years. So. Truth will expire with the Ottomans rather quickly. I don't know if they have any ambitions to go to war with me. What is their mission? I can't see their mission. I'm not their rival. Moldova seems not to be in their interest as of now. I hope that's uh, the case for a little while longer. So I can uh, manifest my position. Oh, here we go. He's taken Neumark, which is quite early, if you ask me. The last time it uh, didn't went so quickly to the to them once uh, as I played this, but yeah. So now um, Brandenburg will get the ticking war score. I hope I really hope I can prevent Neumark from getting taken by the Brandenburgians. Brandenburg, by the way, will, on, uh, in, in real life history, the descendants of Brandenburg it got inherited and stuff like that. It became uh, what is nowadays Prussia. Uh, not nowadays, what was Prussia. But yeah. Don't want that to happen either. Well, it can name itself Prussia if they want, but... Uh... Let's see, can I do something with the Pope here? I, I, I'm not fully understanding. I'm not really understanding what, what, how this papal influence stuff works because always every time I watch, it seems that I don't have enough influence. I don't know to do anything. Maybe I'm just not paying attention to it. <laughs> yeah. Game is going pretty slow, if you ask me. my relation with Lithuania going up okay monopoly company formed crowns often granted trading companies the exclusive rights to traffic good goods in a region these monopolies were granted in exchange for lump sum payment and continuing revenues from the traders Ooh. so I could gain trade efficiency for 10 years plus 15 percent or 199 point Four for ducats. I think I should be. Oh, I have one percent trade efficiency. Okay. I don't think the trade efficiency will actually help that much. Is that accumulative or is it additive? That's the question. I think I will take the f the money. Just so I have like a, a little cushion if I have to go to if I'm going to war I will have to crank up the military funding thus um, um, re lowering my income and I'm, I'd probably run a deficit at that point but yeah I just hope I can get into the war uh, in time. Do I still have my military leader? Yes. Serve my military leader would be awesome if he survives until the war. 
And the one thing, the good thing is that Brandenburg can't reach the other provinces of the Teutonic Order. Um, else I would be fucked, but uh, at this rate I might be able to get in there. So you can see the Teutonic Order's army of four, which is... Well, they they would be able to afford more, like 13, 14 before, but now they are vassal, and vassals uh, are not allowed to have that many, that many troops. Or that would be OP. <laughs> or they can't afford that many. Okay, rank is 70. Oh, 196th the military. Uh, probably because I'm not funding my, my armies. Okay, so I need to be in the under the for in the ten best to get any score. That uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm I'm stronger than most countries in Europe right now. If I declare war, on, let's say Hungary. I don't, you know, who, who are your allies? Burgundy, Switzerland, and Mi Milan. Burgundy is far away. It will be hard for him to get here because only the emperor gains access through the HRE during a war. Uh, Switzerland, okay, that would be possible if they have uh, access through Austria. And Milan, Venice, Austria. So I'm not fearing that. Pretty sure I could beat that. And also I could prey on like, uh, as you can see, uh, Moscovy has, has problems on its own. I could go for Crimea, for the Livonian order, Piskov, Novgorod, probably Sweden. But I won't, because Poland was never a expansionist country. They fought wars, of course, everyone fought wars in that time. But uh, Poland wasn't that aggressive of a of a expansionist like uh, others were during the era. Neither was Austria, by the way. Most of the lands the Habsburg dynasty gained through marriage, not war. So how is the war holding up? I'm at plus sixty two, minus sixteen. I know I can get at least to minus twenty four without a risk of them peacing out. <sighs> Taking a drink. Yeah, and that's the thing I'm doing right now, the waiting game, is uh, it often happens in Europa, Europa Universalis, where you are forced, especially with this system, uh, where you are forced to wait until things can happen. So I'm, I'm I can't like uh, oh, auto save oh no auto save it's just the usual I have a shitty computer <laughs> uh, if I don't record I can play this uh, play this r r really well but once I hit like fraps it's it's totally screwed I'm I'm thinking about like getting another recording software like DX Story maybe it's better but I don't know. So yeah, um, let's just check that real quick. I need 690 power. I got a university in Krakow. Where could I check that? Again? Oh. oh, I have a university. That's neat. Don't have to build that. Turco-Polish to... I shit. Oh. Poland and the Ottoman Empire came into conflict in the 1670s and 80s. Okay, we're a little bit early for that. When the Cossacks in the Polish part of the divided Ukraine submitted to the Ottoman Empire and called for Tatar aid against Poland. Victories won by Hetman Jan Zobierski only temporarily forced out the threat. And in 1672, the Commonwealth faced a major invasion by the Ottoman Empire. The fall of the key, bo key border fortress, Kamieniec Podolski, was followed by the humil humiliating peace of Buchach. 
Bujac? Ah, I'm so bad at my Polish. I'm very, very sorry. In 1683, Zubieski led a relief army to Vienna, besieged by the, by the Ottomans, and as supreme commander of the Allied forces, and as supreme commander of the Allied forces, won a resounding victory that marked the beginning of Ottoman withdrawal from Europe. We will defend Christendom. So we gain 1,000 manpower, and I got a claim on this province here. So what is a claim? A cause and claims. Um, a claim means that I have a divine right or a a, a, a right by law to this province. Uh, this one here, Silistria. It's not a very daunting province. It only has fish. It is in the in the Constantinople trade zone, though it doesn't help me with my trade zone. The base tax is only three, but uh, I could take it for less for more prestige and less um overextension overextension is like a a modifier that uh, gives you negatives f for rapidly aggressive expansion um so i could claim that but it's not a core core means it's a province that i or the polish people poland considers to be a core province of my country so, for example, Krakow is the core of my country, right? While, for example, uh, the uh, Belts is not right now, you know? So, I could take that province, for example, but I would consider it as a addition that is not like the core foundation of my country. And having cores gives bony uh, uh, to to uh, uh, different things like, like taxes and stuff. And it's very important to create cores. And I will, I will do that once I take a province that is not uh, my core. Okay, I have gained the conquest castle's belly on the Ottomans. Let's check my castle's belly. Vassals, conquest castle's belly, that's the only Casus Belli I have right now. Okay, so Austria is improving relations with me. Interesting. Pomerania as well. I don't know, why is Austria improving relations with me? Okay, enemy of enemy, same religion. Okay, I think they want us to, like, uh, double, double pincer on the Hungarians. I think they have some provinces they want to take here. Yeah, I I actually took a, a, a look at some provinces. I pr probably am interested in all of these, although they are pretty. If I dare to say, uh, yeah, mediocre. These two are fine, Szepes uh, and Pest, but the other ones are pretty meh. But they would give me trade power which uh, would increase my uh, income. Um, also, if, if I didn't tackle that, um, I'm not increasing my stability, even though it would give me more tax income and other stuff, like uh, missionary strength, for example. <laughs> nope, I'm still not giving you military access. Um, I'm not doing that because uh, I really want to save up my administrative power so I can increase my tech. It's very, very... The tech 4 and 5 in administrative are very, very important. After that, I will uh, take my ideas and improve them, and I think my first idea will be actually an, be an administrative uh, idea, which costs administrative power points. So, yeah, I will have to s see if that is uh, what I do. Seeing the real you, she turns around, she looks at you. Have you prayed lately, Kazimierz? The question underscores the distance between you that for the past year has been growing. I think you should. I do. Almost every night. You laugh for all her human flaws. She's still your wife. She draws closer, the end of a smile spreading across her face. What are you laughing at, Kazimierz? Okay. So, I can... Let's face it, okay? My wife, my wife she craves me. Okay, she, she she really wants me. So I get a legal heir two one three, which is mediocre. Uh, we are four four one, but we don't have an legal heir. So I'm thirty one, 
a griff would succeed to the throne and I pretty much want to keep my dynasty going. I don't want to have the same dynasty as the Pomeranians. Um, for the other person, I would lose prestige, lose legitimacy and gain some ducats. I don't want to lose any legitimacy or prestige in that matter. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the air. Jan Kazimir Shiagianon. Okay. Succession is safe. That's good. He has a strong claim. Uh, if you have a, a an heir with a weak claim, some revolts might happen, or um, a country you have a royal marriage will will claim with will claim your throne, something like that. So I'm still have the smugglers dominating, and it was a bad choice in, in hindsight. To it will lower it, it lowers my my income dramatically, but yeah. Okay, let's see. I'm at 73. That's fine. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm pretty sure I can. I can. I can do this. I'm pretty sure. And at some point, I will have to take like Gdansk or Danzig, as it's called here, because in, in Prussian, I think it's Danzig, or Prussian, German, whatever. But in Polish, it will be named Gdansk. Like the city today. Let me take a sip. That's actually great. In my other game last night, I, I played all night by the way, uh, <laughs> I uh, didn't get an air, so I had the Griff guy take over, which. Yeah. Byzantine refugees. So, um, that's an event that fires a few years after Constantinople falls to the Ottomans. My lord, Byzantium has fallen to the Saracens, the last bastion of the Roman Empire. The city of Constantine is now in Turkish hands. As Christendom reels from the shock, Byzantine refugees flock to the cities and courts of Europe, bringing with them old manuscripts of classical knowledge, tracks by Aristotle, Plato and Galen, and a thorough knowledge of both Latin and Greek. Inviting these refugees to Poland might provide an enormous boost to our own efforts in the field fields of culture and science. So uh, this is uh, uh, something that really happened and really uh, started some uh, some new thinking in the courts of Europe. After Byzantium fell, um, those Greeks, Romans, whatever you might want to call them, fled to other courts and brought with them the culture of the Romans or the Byzantines, as we nowadays call them. So I can gain, if I take them, I lose diplomatic power and administrative power, I gain prestige, yearly prestige, and my technology will cost less, or I lose five prestige. So, of course, I will take them. Um, yeah, I'm slowly losing prestige, but it's fine. 42 prestige is actually pretty good for a country that is not uh, constantly at war. You can play the game, like, constantly fabricating claims and stuff, but I'm... As I said, I'm I'm a little I'm a little bit role playing this, right? I will try to hold on to my commonwealth here, which is not 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 easy. So basically, you have you have to think of this. I look strong, okay? I have like Lithuania who has uh, 24, 30 regiments, right? Plus 11 from those two vassals, plus 15 from my three vassals. So that's 45, 55. 64 in total, 64 regiments. Right? Austria might might have th those many, but I doubt it, really doubt it. But if I lose a war, just a small war, they can force me to maybe let my vessels go or end the personal union with Lithuania. And then what? It would be hard to get Lithuania back into the personal union. We might be friends, might be allies, but it will be very, very hard to integrate them back. So that's my, my concern, to keep the realm together. And then I expand. <laughs> Maybe I take over the HRE. Would be it would be nice for once in a while that the Polish take over the Germans, not the other way around, isn't it? So... 
78, slowly rising. It doesn't help that they have like a casual spelly on us and a claim, or else we would be at 98 right now. But uh, I think I will get in time. And uh, the neat thing about uh, personal unions and vessels is once I am at the war, they are at the war uh, too. So, you see, it is a cascade. I, I will just wait for it to happen and then I will be able to go. Uh, also, you might wonder why I'm under my force limit, why I'm not building more forces. Uh, it's because forces cost money. In EU3, um, especially at the lower difficulty levels, you could have like the full amount every time. I don't think that would be possible here if you don't have the economy to support it. Yeah. Also, I have to check one thing. No, I have zero, inf uh, zero inflation. That's good. Inflation is horrible. Uh, it was bad in EO3, but it, I, th I feel it's even worse, worse in, 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 in here. 81, very good. Nearing completion. Also, I'm, I'm, I'm not keen on taking on the Ottomans. I'm, prob I'm pretty sure I could take... Let, let's check, just for, for argument's sake, let's check the um, Ottomans army real quick. So, uh, 30,000. I'm pretty sure I could take them. Especially uh, if you can see they have very few cavalry, which... And there is a motorcycle ride, riding... Oh, it's a quad, actually. I can see it uh, in front of my window. Um, they have very few cavalry, which doesn't make sense, because the Ottomans, if I remember correctly, also have like 60 or 70% uh, combined arms bonus for cavalry, and cavalry is stronger in the early game. Much, much stronger. Um, so yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I could take them. Um, yeah. But uh, I won't. Especially, the, the problem is I have no fleet, so I could only like um, conquer this stuff, but I couldn't cross. If he's, if he's smart, he will block me at the, at the, uh, at the straight here. Um, and I couldn't cross, so I couldn't like occupy him and, and force him to take a piece. I would have to, yeah, take a minor victory. But I, I think it, the war score would be well enough to take uh, Zilistria. But the, the problem with Zilistria is I, I uh, it's a different culture, Bulgarian. It's a different religion, Orthodox. The base tax value is not very great. Um, I don't have a core on it, I have to create a core, which costs me administrative power. It's not that great, basically. Plus, I would have like a a direct border to the Ottomans, not through my vessel. So, here we go, the same, I think it's same, the, the gathering of Polish nobles. Nobles demand privileges. Uh, I think I got this one. Can I take the reward risk? No, I can't. Yeah, losing 10 prestige. Also, orthodox zealots, I will handle them. Uh, okay. 5%, uh, uh, I, I treated them harshly. I, I pre I'm trying to prevent that they rise up against me. Um, because if they rise up here, the progress of the missionary will halt if they take the province before I can thwart them out. Uh, all the progress will be lost. So, minus 23. I'm at 88 uh, relation. I'm almost there. Th uh, 11 to go. I think I'll get there in time. Okay, I'm almost up with my time. I'm trying to uh, ease myself now with the with the editing, make it easier for me. Uh, so not that I have like a three hour file that I uh, put together and then cut in piece by piece. So I will just naturally make cuts after around 30 minutes. 
sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. Um, yeah. I have checked my provinces. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty tax rich, except Ruthania. This one, this Krakow is like a tax value of 10. It's, it's For example, Wien. What does Wien have? For? Okay, 14. 13. Oh, it's not that great. Venice has 10. Pest, 5. Yeah, Hungarians are pretty. For example, Constantinople has 15. Yeah. Okay, it's, 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 but it's, it's, in, in, in retrospect, in, 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 in comparison to all the other, what's Warsaw at? I don't want to go into the diplomatic view. I want 7. You see? 92, almost there. Oh, minus 25. Fucking shit, I have to hurry. Don't peace out, dude. Don't peace out. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. One thing I will do rather quickly is... Uh, stop relation improvement. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. Relation is, is good. There's no chance that they will fall out of the personal union. So I have him in, in, in like the near future. So I can declare. Well, I'm not declaring war. I want to force uh, Brandenburg out of the war. That's the question can I stay here? Move to Zierac. Zierac. Nice differences, aren't there? This is a Western. This is an Eastern guy. As you can see, uh, the Teutonic Order has Western tech. We all have Eastern tech. <laughs> I like to see the um, forces of the English and French actually because uh, I because I pre-ordered the digital uh, digital deluxe edition. I got the um, I got the uh, what's it called the uh, Hundred Years War pack, which gives me some other models for those. Twenty six. I'm getting nervous now. I don't want the Teutonic Order to peace out here. Yeah. Because I really want to keep Neumark. I, I know it's imperial territory, but uh, I think I can live with that. As long as my relation with Austri Austria is actually uh, pretty good and they see me as uh, friendly, I should not have a problem with keeping it. Uh, as you may know, the emperor has a, a, can, can enact a decision to um, revoke or, or ask you to give back the... Um, the province. Technology wise, I'm almost there. 630 is what I need. Mm -hmm. 97. Come on. Oh, 101. There we go. Now, I'm, I'm very sure he will decline. So I will crank up. Um, alliance action, no, no, oh, uh, there, enforce peace, Teutonic Order, he will say no, uh, I send it anyways, because uh, this will get me into the war, and let's move to Neumark, there we go, rejected, I took leadership in the war, I'm losing money, but uh, I will take that hit and uh, take Neumark. Okay, there we go. Uh, big battle. 
God damn it, that's loud, man. Big battle against Friedrich II, Hohenzollern. He's good at firing, but firing is well, not that important. I'm good at shock. Okay, so he will get plus three in firing. I get plus one in shock. Yeah, I think I can take him. It would help if I would roll decent numbers. Oh, God damn it, that's fucking loud, isn't it? Still is loud. Okay, I won that battle. I won that battle. Uh, got war score out of it. Got some. You can see, just an example. I gained five prestige from that battle, and uh, army tradition, and I gained some war exhaustion. And I only yeah. He, he, here's what I said about the cavalry uh, to to uh, footmen. Um, Balance, you will lose more foot soldiers than cavalry, usually. He is pretty, pretty strong command. Okay, next battle against the Saxons. Well, he's not that great. But my morale is low. But I won. Okay. Uh, my morale is uh, actually at zero, so I can't move right now. As you can see here, there's a lock, low morale. Um, if the morale is, is very low, you can't move, move around. So, here come my allied forces. So we will get attrition here in Neumark. But uh, yeah, I'm besieging this province. And uh, we actually we already won this war. The Brandenburgians don't know it yet. <laughs> yeah. Right, the Lithuanians are wiping out these small armies. Great stuff. And I think I have the funds to actually manage to uh, uphold my, my armies here, but uh, as you can see, um, once they reinforce, it's extremely, uh, extremely expensive to have armies. I think that's... In the, uh, I, I talked to people who said that was a... It is imbalanced, but I think it's a nice feature because it's it's very realistic. You know, if you reinforce your armies, right, you you get more new new people in. They will uh, it will it will take a while until they until they um, you know are in service. Plus, they have to equipment is, has to be bought and stuff like that. Okay. Um, I think it's a bad habit, but uh, I'm fighting this war, and I will continue this war after uh, in the next in the next episode. Basically, I will make a cut right here, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.